Hello and welcome to another Logo Supermarket tutorial. This one is again on the width tool in Adobe Illustrator CS5. The initial tutorial was just an introduction to the tool. This time around I'm going to show you how to draw some swirls which can be quite popular on certain flyers and, and that kind of thing. So if you go ahead and open up a new document in Illustrator, this one's A4 just for your reference. Here is a spiral tool. It can be hiding under the line tool, so just hold that down, and there it is, spiral tool. Now, I want you to draw a spiral, so hold the cursor down, keep holding it down. And what that does, as you drag out, it creates a spiral. Now, depending on what your presets are, it could look something like this. Um, there's two shortcuts here that you can use. If you hold down the command or the Apple button, you can change the distance between the spirals. And if you hold down the up and down cursors, you change the distance the spiral goes in. So what you want is something along those lines. And when you zoom in, you can see this is a live path. There's a few points on the path. And if you go and select the width tool, Again, if you can't see it, it might be under the warp tool or the bloat tool. It's just the first one in the list with the tool. And you want to go to the end point, the outside point. Just click and hold and drag it out. And what that does is creates an, creates an even distribution of thick to thin on the stroke. If you go to the internal one, you can see there it's got a flat end. You can, if you want, change it to a rounded end but on these things it tends to look better if you actually make it disappear to a point. So what you get is a, a thick start and a thin end. So now you want to draw, rotate that round about there and using the pen tool, the shortcut's just P, we'll draw a little curve Coming through there, this is going to act as our vine. Again, just select the width tool. If you want the shortcut, it's just Shift W. So you can see the standard cursor there, change from that to that with the little line underneath. Go to your central point and pull that out. About there should be fine. Again, go to your endpoints and you can make these disappear into a point. If you're on your navigator here, just click on the other end and drag it to a point. So there you can see you've got your first vine coming off there. And now just position it. You can make it a touch bigger. This is probably a bit too thick. And the good thing is you can go back to it. So you can just thin that down a bit. Bring this in. And then if you want to repeat this, You can just drag a new one across. If you hold Alt and Shift, you'll see that. Rotate it round and stick it on the other side. Maybe make this one a touch smaller. You want it to look like it's just coming out the other side. And it's as simple as that. You can then go and add some details in there, like little leaves, that kind of thing, if you want. Just simple shapes. You can start with an oval if you like. Fill it in, get rid of the stroke. Using the pen tool, if you hold down the Alt, you'll see it change to a sort of upturned V. And then click your points, and that gets rid of the, uh, the arc. So all you have to do is pull that in a bit. Now if you want a little way of drawing a, a quick vein on the leaf, <clears throat> Again, you can use the, use the width tool. So what we'll do is just select that, 
pull it out at the end, put it to a point, and then if you go to Object, Expand, and then you can put it just in there. And what you want to do is go to your paths, and you want this one here, which is minus front, and that will just create a little leaf. So shrink that down a bit, rotate it around, maybe copy a couple, make that a bit smaller. These a bit bigger. Do it quick away if you want. Just select both, copy, and draw those out. So if we don't want to bother doing all that again, just select it all. Try and get across, just hold him down, Alt, rotate it round, and position it, just so it looks like it's coming out, so that is a nice smooth arc there. If you want to stick some leaves on the actual main vine itself, you can do that. And that's it.